How are you feeling? You play Pokemon Go for me. No more of that. What you want is just right above your feet. Yeah. Explain, listen. Is that okay? Yeah. Welcome back. I broke my back. Modern Homestead, Alaska. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're leaving the orthopedics. Uh, Wyatt just got fitted. We'll tell you what's going on um, when we get home. Welcome to Modern Homestead, Alaska. We are Aaron and Jessica Milnes. We are building a modern homestead outside of Wasilla, Alaska with the help of three of our children. Our second son, Caleb, our daughter, Cody Ann, and the youngest of our family, Wyatt, along with our three dogs, Tipper and Daisy, and the newest addition, Roberto. All right, I thought to make this video, and it's been a few days, so if I'm able to laugh and talk my way through it, it's because it's been um, some days of processing what is going on. And I am just gonna do the dishes and talk to you guys for a minute um, because it's chaos, it's chaos around here. And then I thought maybe to finish the video, um, I'm gonna figure out some sort of like cookie or snack or something. Everyone in the house, my mom is visiting, everyone's like, oh, we could really go from cookies. I might make brownies as well. So let's kind of get into a little bit of story time. And I will say, if you're not interested in story time or the fact that I'm not gonna tell every detail of my minor child, that's fine. This might not be the video for you. Just go ahead and click off and I'll see you in the next one. Um, but if you choose to stick around, I ask right off the bat, remember that we're talking about my minor child who um, has said, here's what you can share and here's what you can't. So we're gonna respect that and keep it respectful around here. So let's get into it. So here's kind of a funny thing. I had said my mom is here to um, deal with some cabin stuff and you know, she needed to see it and she's out there dealing with that today. And my brother is coming and I said, well, I was gonna take a day this week and kind of clean up the house or whatever. And because, um, Everyone has been in the house the last several days dealing with everything and no one has cared and God, God bless them, who cares right now? No one's cared to make sure dishes are caught up on or food is even made, like it doesn't matter. So story time on Sunday, Wyatt had an accident is what we're calling it. He fell. And um, I was informed about the fall on Sunday evening. I checked on him. He had no concussion. He had no swelling. He just said at 10 o'clock that night when I was checking on him that like my low back hurts and he had a little bit of a scratch over his right side. So I was kind of worried about his kidney a little bit because why it fell about 40 feet. Um, and just he had no concussion he had nothing he was like easy to talk to whatever and so I went to get my mom from the airport and I got home about two in the morning and checked on Wyatt again I said well let me see your belly let me see your back that you're saying it's hurting no swelling nothing he's like no I'm fine I had given him some a leave and he said I, he felt better. And I was like, okay. So Monday morning we got up and my mom and I went for her to see the cabin for the first time. And why our Caleb was staying out at the cabin and we just hung out. And then my mom and I went to Anchorage for my chiropractor appointment. That made me feel a little guilty and shame. And then, um, Wyatt called and said, hey, can you get me a chiropractor appointment? Said, yeah, I'll try and set one up in Wasilla, which is closer. And he told me I'm gonna go to, to work tomorrow, being Tuesday, he said he was gonna be fine. And I got home Monday evening and Aaron said to me, something's 
something's wrong with him. I don't think that he's okay. I think maybe we should take him in. I said, what do you mean? Where's he at? And he said, he's in the bath. And I said, well, why get out of the bath and come out here and talk to me? And he came out and he was kind of limping because he did sprain his ankle as well in the fall. And he, I just said, do you need to go to the hospital? And he said, yes, that I need to take him to the ER. And I said, that's fine. That's all you need to say. We loaded up, went to the ER. Sorry, I kind of have to move you around. I have so much going on. But so we went into the ER. Wyatt walked himself in there and said, you know, gave the story to the, to the um, nurse that triaged him. And they took him back and... You know, everyone's rolling him around and looking at him and said, okay, we're gonna take him for a CT or a CAT scan, CT scan. And that's fine. And they brought him back to the room and said to him, remember what we said, lay flat and don't move. And I said, well, well wait a minute, what is going on? And um, is that just precaution or what? And they said, we're not radiologists, so we can't read the CT scan or give you any information, but we saw something and he needs to not move. So I called Aaron and I just wanted him to, number one, I know, because White's our fourth child and Aaron and I have been together well over 20 some years, um, that I'm not gonna ask the question questions he's going to want answers to and vice versa in all fairness he won't ask what i wanted to know and then i've got to try to remember everything they're saying and they've just told me enough to know that whatever is going to come out of their mouth i'm not going to ask the right questions and i'm not going to be able to remember everything that they're about to say to me so Aaron got in the truck and immediately came to the hospital and was actually there with us before the scans came back. Cody came over, she was in town. So we were there and then we did call his brothers. Uh, Caleb's in the state, so Caleb was attempting to come to the hospital, but Caleb's actually working at a huge hospital in Anchorage. And if White would have needed surgery immediately, he would have actually gone to Anchorage, so Caleb would have been closest, so he stayed where he was at. Anyway, now we're all there. We're in the room, and they came in and said that we're having a debate about it, so don't quote me on this. And this is what I was saying, no one remembers what they say. But they, someone said L1, T4, L4. So we think we've settled on, and I will get confirmation on that when I take him to the specialist. Um, but whatever it is, in his lower back, he had crushed and shattered into six plus pieces with fractures, um, one of his vertebrae. And um, it appears that in the um, CT scans and all of that, it appears as though it's held together. He's young, for dogs, he's young, he's healthy, he's an athlete. So the muscles may have just held it all in place. And what may happen is eight weeks from now, they'll do all this bracing. They may do a custom one, they're not sure yet. What are they doing as far as like holding him in place? But he's in a brace now and they think it's going to heal he was very fortunate that it appears as low like none of the pieces shot off into the body anywhere and he is in complete control of mobility body functions um everything normal Wyatt is in control of so he might have hit the, the um, broken back lottery, I guess, if that is a thing, but for what it is, he may be in the best shape possible for 
the fact that he broke his back. All right, I have one last pan. Caleb just got here to check on Wyatt, do some stuff at the house. He's not fully moved into the cabin yet, and I'm certain that there's like a hundred things I've forgotten in just kind of giving an update, but uh, we see a specialist this week. We'll get an MRI. There's a whole lot. Um, that's it. I just, I really am so appreciative of everyone that reached out. Like I'm holding it together really well at this moment. Yesterday was really, really hard. Um, I couldn't have recorded this yesterday. So just depends on the day, up and down. Uh, Aaron's having a heck of a day. So if you will remember us and keep us in your prayers, that would be really, really awesome. But I did, uh, I think the last thing that I wanted to share. Okay, so what I was gonna say is, I just always try to um, be honest with kind of where we're at mental space. Aaron's like, I am so stressed out. Like today is just a day for him. Um, I was feeling that yesterday, and I think by the end of yesterday, we were like, in the world like what is happening and I think grace is so beautiful because it is so gracious that I don't think we can actually process everything at once and if we knew everything now would be be walking and talking and making cookies you know what I mean like I don't know um so but we have a village around us we've built um a good village. The principal, White's favorite welding teacher, literally just left the house. They came to see him from the school. He has friends and um, everyone just wants to kind of gather around and support him and that is beautiful um, to just kind of see and have that because it is very scary. I'm not making light of that, but um, when I got home from the hospital with him I think I was running on four hours of sleep in two days and the stress of it and I just said you know Lord I trust you and I know no matter what that you love him and you see him and we're not any more blessed or loved than anyone else but we're also not any less. Um, what a beautiful thing I think God's love is for us because it is so even killed all the time, right? Like he loves us the same. <laughs> um, whether we're riding that high or riding that low, his love for us is never changing. And I think that's just what I am resting in right now. Um, Fear wants to take over and say, you know, why it's one of the, it's number two in the state in wrestling. And he is um, certainly one of the top football players in the entire state of Alaska. And um, we're not even, we're thinking positive thoughts with understanding and reconciling in our hearts that those might be not be things this year. Um, and it is his senior year, so that could be lost. And we're okay if that is, um, not to be negative, but my child wasn't going into the NFL. He wasn't, didn't want to wrestle in college or um, move on with that. So if he loses that as his senior year, it's real. It is a loss. But it's not a loss. And I hope that you kind of understand where my heart is with that, you know. And then I. I find it funny, like, um, one of White's very, very best friends at school is in a wheelchair. He had, um, my understanding is he got a blood clot when he was younger, high up in his spinal cord, and it paralyzed him. And he's such a good friend to Wyatt. When Wyatt said, man, we were almost twins, and he said, I'm so thankful that you're not. Like, that would not be fun. I don't want that, you know? Um... I don't know now I'm just rambling but it's all just bizarre it's all bizarre and that's what's going on in the, the homestead and then in the middle of 
all of it. And this is what I was trying to say of our life is this perfect balance of absolutely a dream life of um, the property we live on and the things that we've been blessed with are just absolutely amazing. And I feel blessed every single day, even today, standing here talking to you. And then it's a perfect balance of chaos and heartache and brokenness and just things happen um, like this and they can happen at any point in time to anyone. So certainly not a perfect life, but it is a beautiful, blessed life in spite of the bad things that do come along in our path. So with that, I don't know how to thank you guys. Um, for the messages, I don't even know how to respond to your love and support. Hang on. I'm gonna say it because it's important to me to say it. <sighs> Since I started this channel, you guys have watched our family walk through some of the most beautiful blessings and some of injuries and heartache. And you have been here for me. And I think if I went and had the, the prayers, like I still believe with Caleb's eye, that it was the power of prayer because they went in there to remove his eye and you guys were praying with us and they're like, you won the lottery. Didn't even have a scratch on it. Like how good is God? Like that the prayers I just believe were answered. I believe you guys prayed for me through my injuries. You're praying for our family and for Wyatt through this. And you walk with me through the heartache and through um, the highs and the lows. And isn't that what a beautiful community is? So kudos to all of you today for being with our family on this homestead as we journey through this. Um, yeah, with that, I'll see you in the next video. If you want to tag along, see how everything goes, you can do that by hitting that subscribe button, ring the bell, you'll get notifications, thumbs up and comments do help our channel to grow. You are never going to believe this when I tell you. <laughs> Caleb and Aaron are the most excited they have ever been. They're a little heartbroken that Wyatt won't be participating um, next weekend, but something huge huge blessing um, in the midst of all of the chaos and that is coming up on the channel as well. I just haven't been able to focus on recording a video on it, but I am going to. I'm also going to keep you posted on Wyatt's progress um, and you'll just see him in and out of the videos like you always have. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you guys in the next video.